Hey guys, it's Haig here, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create your own Windows 10 installation DVD for free. And um, you may be wanting to do this if you're planning on installing Windows on another computer, or if you're trying to build a computer that doesn't have an operating system currently installed, or say you maybe you just want to reinstall Windows because the current computer doesn't work or it has some problems. I'm going to show you how you can create your own Windows 10 DVD for free. And... Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going to Microsoft's website and we're going to be downloading their free Windows 10 media creation tool. So uh, I'll leave the link in the description box. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and download that. And uh, once you have downloaded that and uh, got the media creation tool installed on your desktop, you want to go ahead and open it up. So uh, once you open it up, it will look like this. So uh, it's just going to get things ready here. It may take a second. And when you open it up, you want to click Create an Installation Media for another PC. And then click Next. And in here, you're going to choose your language. So I'm going to select English. And in here, you're going to select what edition of Windows you want. So uh, I'm just going to select Windows 10 Pro. And... Uh, under here, it's very important here that you choose the 64-bit OS. If you're having more than 2 gigs of RAM on the computer that you're going to install Windows to. So, the way you tell that is if you right-click on your Start menu here, and you go up into System, that will tell you uh, how much RAM you have. So, you can see here that my computer has 8 gigs of RAM. So, whatever computer you're planning to install Windows on, if there's more than 2 gigs of RAM, you want to make sure you're checking the 64-bit addition otherwise you won't be allowed to use all your RAM alright so if your computer has less than 2 gigs of RAM then make sure you're choosing 32 bit alright so I have 8 gigs of RAM so I'm going to make sure it's 64 bit and then the next thing you're going to do is click next and right here you're going to check where it says ISO file and what this is going to do is it's going to create an ISO file up where in which we can burn to another DVD so when we do that we'll click next and we're just going to remember where we're going to save it to. Now I already have it saved, so uh, you can save it to wherever you want. And what that will do is that will uh, start downloading a copy of Windows 10. And uh, once that's done, um, I'll show you how to burn that to a DVD. All right. All right. So once you have. Uh, downloaded the ISO file just remember where you saved it to so you can see here on my desktop here is the windows.iso file that we just downloaded with the media creation tool so what you want to do is you want to uh, burn that to a DVD now the way you do that is you want to insert a DVD a blank DVD into your computer and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and insert a blank DVD into my computer and once you do that you want to hit your start menu File Explorer, locate this PC right here, and then you'll see here that you'll have your DVD drive right here. So we're just going to let it, uh, let the computer find the DVD. So you can see that we have a DVD inserted into the computer, and it has nothing on it. So if I open this up, it's going to say, uh, burn to disk, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to title this Windows 10. And when you do that, you're just going to click Next. And what that will do is that will go ahead and format the disk for you. So you, And then once that's done, we'll... Uh, show you how to install Windows. Or how to burn it to a DVD. So... Uh, We'll just let that do a quick format of the CD just to make sure there's nothing on it. Alright, so once that's done, we can see here that we have our blank DVD that has nothing on it. And it's named, now I named it Windows 10. So once you do that, you're going to exit out of that. And you're going to download a program called ImageBurn. Now I'm going to have the link for this in the description box. So once you download ImageBurn, you're going to open it up. And uh, what you're going to do is you're going to click Write Image File to Disk. And uh, 
what you want to do here is you want to click under source and then click this folder and what you want to do is you want to browse to the location of the ISO file that you created with the media and media creation tool and uh, make sure you select the ISO file and then and um, once you do that once you do that you'll click right here where it says right here and um, when you click that what that will do is that will go ahead and start burning the .iso file to your DVD. And once that's done, you can now use this CD to install Windows on another computer. So if you enjoy my videos, um, my name is Haig here. And if you enjoy my videos, please remember to uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope this has helped you.